uh, they are repeating moves, but uh, 6d3 is also a move that never played a lot against Magnus, and uh, there were many games, for example, with a3 in the Champions Tour where he played yes. this a3 knight 3 Yes, yes. You recommend the C3, uh, C3 and rather than an A3 is one and A4, yeah, yeah, and A4, yeah. Okay, now let's let's catch the end of the game here. Um, yeah, as the players are repeating the moves. Yeah, and don't forget to watch the press conference, the highlight of the day, always with the wonderful questions from journalists. Yeah, I will be curious. Yeah, like how uh, how they felt, like if Magnus felt that it was very very unpleasant, or if he felt that it was exactly. just some accuracy needed. Exactly. We'll see, but I guess the uh, the fact that the game is ending is pretty certain at this point. I think yeah, so. yeah, no, it just ended. Yeah, it's but he looks a little bit like someone who uh, missed the chance, yeah, Nepo, or believes that he missed the chance. But uh, okay, it's hard to draw too many conclusions, of course. Well, Nils, thank you very much for being here. Before we let you go, can we ask you your predictions? What will be the end of the match? Oh, I have absolutely no idea. But, uh, well, Magnus is the favorite. I think it's pretty pretty clear. So I'm, uh, I'm predicting a, a Magnus win, but uh, anything can definitely still happen, yeah. Okay, so let's see what it will be. Thanks for being with us and sharing your thoughts. And uh, thank you and very maybe, much. You. Maybe your chessable course will be needed for someone over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure Anish knows uh, all the lines from it by heart. So <laughs> no I do, worries. but does Jan? Does Jan? That is the question. Does Jan? That's the question. Yeah. <laughs>